Hello everyone, I am back today with another video, and this is going to be a ranked game on Strategis against Eagle 06. Now, Eagle 06 is currently rated 573 ELO, which I believe is about number 10 on the website. Uh, I am currently, um, let's see if I check here, 541 ELO, and that puts me, I believe, 16th. Um, so, a high level matchup here. Um, I have not played Eagle in, in quite some time, uh, but he normally almost always beats me. His playstyle just works quite well against me from what I find, um, so hopefully I'll be able to reverse that trend, uh, especially as I've been playing pretty solidly lately. Um, so I'm hoping I'll be able to give him a good game. Um, I have obviously not recorded in quite some time, uh, it's just due to being busy and various things. Um, I do have a, a mostly free week uh, this week, so I'm hoping in addition to this video I'll be able to record um, other games as well. So we have Major here, he's made a little bit of shuffling movements here, and he's not really advanced on either of these flanks, he's just played defense. So that probably means he wants me to I think he wants me to advance uh, on these sides, but he wants to advance himself on the right. So front row major, uh, I believe that did come from the front row. It's not all that much like him from what I know, um, but it doesn't mean I should be too surprised. Scout there, I think my strongest, um, of course I could push on this side, but that major is making me a bit wary. Um, but otherwise, I could make a strong attack in the center if I needed to. I'll probably put a uh, major there, although that opens my center up a bit, so I'm going to want to bring around a captain to guard this piece. I'll leave that there. Okay. Um, I guess I should hit that. Captain, kind of figures. Um, and colonel. Okay. So I might as well scout this probably lieutenant. Okay, another captain. So we know captain and major from him. I'm going to want to probably chase this a bit, and probably bring out a second captain just to cover up the general and to guard uh, this these weaker pieces here, just in case. Uh, this setup here is one that I built recently. It's not, not one I put a ton of thought into, but just kind of varying things up a little bit. So I know that he has his captain here, of course, colonel here. Okay, so he's actually going to trade off with me. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to try to um, advance with my colonel to kill his major. Uh, and even if I can take it for info, that would just transfer me being down a major to being up a colonel and having more info, because I still know this colonel here. Hmm. It's a bit unfortunate. I'm going to do that and try to pretend like the lieutenant is a good piece. a bit risky since I might end up um, really gaining nothing at all here, but I'm hoping he'll just hit my colonel. Of course he might attack the scout and then he'll also pick up either the lieutenant or the captain, which would not be ideal. Okay, good. Alright, that's good play. Um, I'm going to probably make him think that that lieutenant could have killed his major also, and so that, that was a safe trap by me. And if he thinks I have another power piece over here, he might attack more on these two sides. Um, I think I think it's worthwhile to hit this, because I am up a captain. I've gained a major off of this colonel. It's known. Um, that would be good info to find out if he had a power piece here. I will hit that. I mean, it's just a scout. I don't expect anything here, but okay, it is the general. So this lieutenant bluff might come to be powerful. Um if I'm able to pretend like it's his, uh, or it's my marshal. But for now, now that I've discovered the general, I'm going to want to probably advance a little bit on the left side.
course, I do know this colonel, and I also know his general, which is good info. So his colonel, he would make me suspect his marshals toward this side, perhaps, and the spy, of course, with the general. That's not to say we can always expect uh, kosher things from him. I'm going to go ahead and scout this. Okay, sergeant. Uh, I'll come up with a lieutenant and then a major to follow, probably to try to kill that sergeant. I'll just keep pressure on him with that captain. I mean, I'd be fine if he wastes a piece for info on it. Alright, that's an unmoved front row piece, so I think I'm fine moving next to that, and it seems that I am, because he's not taking me. Alright, I'm just going to leave that there. If he advances on these two, which I suspect he probably will. Okay, he's actually not going to. Interesting. So that means he doesn't want me to attack this piece. That's what that means to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and probably just treat like that. So, he's doing a lot of shuffling over here. I believe this piece came from somewhere over here. And this piece just moved over and this one up. This is his colonel. Of course, general here. I'll move like that, I think. I think it's worthwhile to scout this piece. Of course, it might be a worthless piece, but let's see. Okay, yeah, so it's a scout trade. Now, bringing out that scout actually allows my trapped in captain to be backed up by my colonel, which is good. But that new move seems pretty innocent enough, and without ulterior motives, it just seems like I wanted to scout his own scout there and make sure it was nothing good. Um, I wonder what happens if I come up with my general to threaten his colonel. Okay, that wasn't necessarily ideal, um, since he moved everything out of the way. Uh, let's, I'm going to play this off as my marshal. So, let's see what happens if I'm able to do that. I don't think, I think he's going to prevent me from being able to do that. Alright, I think I should just leave that there and probably not risk my general. So even if I try to call this, I think it is a bluff, it's probably not the marshal, but even if I try to call it, um, it'll just move away, and I'm not really going to get anything. I'll come up with a miner and just pretend to act like a spy. Alright, um, I'll come up with my colonel. So he's gonna come back with his general. So he's 
definitely pretending like this is a good piece. I think it might be worthwhile to move up, at least right now. However, I really strongly doubt this is a marshal because he just gave me clearance into all of these pieces if I really wanted with my general. I don't think it would make that much sense to be the marshal. Um, that would kind of be, like, too obvious. Um, I think I'm inclined to move next to these two. Threaten this colonel. And then when he moves that away, I can kind of take these pieces here. He doesn't actually know my colonel. The one that's right here. So we'll see what he does. I mean, yeah, I expected that to be the response. Go ahead and take that sergeant. Not much, but I'll take whatever I can with my general, I suppose. So, there's a remotely small chance that his marshal's here. So if I take with my colonel, he takes with the marshal, then I can go over with my general and smash into these pieces. This is his colonel, I believe. Or was it this one? No, it was this one here. Okay. I think I'm willing to take that risk. Okay, that's good that I did that, because that's a good piece. That's valuable. Alright, so I'm going to leave my general there. Of course, his colonel is here, so that can be threatened. Uh, and I'd rather trade off. I think he will trade me. Just, I don't know, out of caution. He probably wouldn't want to come and smash into these pieces. My marshal actually is there, although not in this position, which would be the best to defend. Okay, he's going to, looks like, a try, try to avoid a trade. I'm not sure how much I want to play with a bluff marshal. Obviously, I'm not going to advance my real marshal on that. But if I sell a bluff marshal too hard, he might come with his general and smash in my center and my left side here. So I probably want to avoid that a little bit. I think I'm making a, I'm playing this off well as a, as a moving piece. Um, see if I do that. I'm going to want to come through with my general here. I probably do want to force this trade. Right. Okay. So, what that tells me... Um, he obviously was very willing to trade. I don't think this is his marshal. Um, I don't think that would make very much sense. Um... I'll come up with this miner in the center. I would like a little bit of info, because I don't want my general to be in an entrapment situation. But I am quite pleased uh, that I was able to get that major. That was a good pickup, especially for advancing with my colonel and being so risky with my general. I think that was a good trade-off. But I'm going to want to uh, bring my general into refuge here a bit. Might as well advance on those. He'll probably take it with a piece, but at least it'll tell me which one is not the marshal. Okay, that doesn't really tell me much, but I'd rather just discover a piece. Okay, that's pretty worthless, um, Lieutenant, but tells me that piece isn't the Marshal. Now, if I remember correctly, this piece came from here and was guarding the Colonel for a bit. So, I guess it wasn't the worst decision to sacrifice a Miner on that, especially because I'm up two Sergeants here. But I know his Colonel, I now know a Lieutenant, and I know a General. Uh, I don't know what this is. It was chasing my General earlier. I really feel it probably isn't the Marshal is my suspicion. 
Um, I think it's worthwhile to come up with a lieutenant either way. You know, maybe grab a, a small piece or even just trade. I don't mind doing that. So I'm down a colonel, which I know his colonel is right here. But I'm up a major. I'm up two sergeants for that. I will probably have to use a scout here. Because I don't want him uh, to give him the opportunity to take uh, my captain. Now that's an interesting piece. I'm still a bit suspicious of that piece, although I feel if it was his marshal, he probably would have taken the colonel to go up two colonels when I attacked his major that was being guarded by it. Still a little bit suspicious of that piece, because Eagle um, would be the type of player to think, okay, I'm not going to take the colonel now because maybe I'll get his general in the future. Um, so I'll have to wait and see what he does with that piece. But if he advances that, I am going to be wary of that piece. I'm going to want to bring up a lieutenant, I think, to check it. Um, if I move down, he'll probably just trade lieutenants with me. I don't want to do that quite yet. I don't mind. My center is obviously the weak part here, so I don't mind kind of staving him off in the center for now. I'm going to move back with that captain. I'm at a bit of a loss of what to do right now. I'm definitely going to want to uh, ward this piece off. I'm, I'm still suspicious of that. I don't know why, but something is making me suspicious of that piece. I'm going to move the general up and I'll construct a sort of defense in that manner. So he's really clearing out his right side here, um, for mobility, it seems. Alright, I think I'll just leave it there. Okay, I'm going to want to come up with this major. Because majors are what I have an advantage in. I think that's a good idea. Now this is the piece that came from here. And this is the piece that has been acting like the marshal for a little while. Here of course is his uh, colonel. Alright, I will trade that off I think. I'm fine to do that. And um, I'm actually having a scout advantage that I found myself with. That's rather uncommon. Alright, so now he's acting like this is a garbage piece that he intends to uh, check, or he intends to use to check approaching pieces. Now I know his colonel, I know his general, and I don't have much fear. Um, I'm going to leave that there, because if I move over, then he might try to trap me between his colonel and his general. But I will leave that there. Wasn't sure if he uh, was going to attack my major or not. It seems that he has decided not to. I just decided I'm going to probably open up this lane here, um, just in case the general needed to escape or anything like that. That major actually has moved, but I almost doubt that he would remember that because it's been so long and the major didn't actually do anything, it just moved over and then kind of moved back. Hmm. Okay. Of course this piece has moved because that's where the general originally spawned.
So I wonder what happens if I try to do this, if I try to come up with a captain and take this piece. What his reaction would be. Hmm. Okay. Um, my major is positively dead, so I might as well blitz with my um, general here. See, that's pretty impressive um, that I actually suspected that could be the marshal, even though he decided not to take my colonel with it. I'm actually a bit proud of myself for that. But we'll get a lieutenant back, which is nice. I just transferred being down a lieutenant for being down a captain, because he took that with his marsh. I will go ahead and take that. Perfect. That is an excellent grab. I figured I might as well just take the guaranteed piece. Uh, no use to complicating things further, I suppose. Uh, might as well just take the piece that's guaranteed to me instead of moving along, and then this piece would evade me, and then I would have to... So let's see, I'm down a colonel, and I'm no longer up a major, because he took that. Um... But I've evened things out in the captain and lieutenant department. So I'm up two sergeants. And I know his marshal. Man, I'm still kind of impressed with myself that I figured out uh, that that could be his marshal. Frankly. Um, especially because he decided not to take my colonel with his marshal. Because I would be able to smash in these pieces and punish him. So if I, if I try to trap this captain with my general. He would move over with his... So I would move over. And I would move over here. He would move over, I would move up, he would move over, and then if I took the captain, he would move between my general and my major. Which isn't really ideal, I suppose. So I'm going to go ahead and retreat. Um, I don't really see. And I guess maybe if I yeah, keep the captain trapped, it's not the worst. Um, I might try to do that instead. Yeah, keep the captain trapped. But we'll see what he does here. Can, uh, I can be a little pliable with giving out my sergeant, since I'm up two of them, and really I have no idea what that piece is. Uh, it seems that he's bought into it being, perhaps being a good piece, which is good. I'm suspecting this might be the spy. That makes more sense than anything else that I can think of at the moment. Um, considering we have our colonel and our general here. I'm going to advance up on that. I'm probably going to want to rescue my captain. I don't really like it being trapped behind the bomb here. I would much rather just let him do as he wished on this right side. Because um, there's nothing of value. Now, I don't remember if he knows this is a captain or not. I doubt he would put his general and his major in a situation like this. Um, so I'm going to hope that's not his major, because I really just want to rescue the captain, really. I don't remember if he knows that captain or not, but I really doubt he would have his major and his general just sitting here in front of a potential marshal. Where I could advance, he would have to retreat with the general, no option for counterattack, and I would just get a free major. But I'm still going to try to play uh, like this bomb is important. I just don't want the captain trapped here, I want it to be able to move either way. This here, of course, is the colonel. Still can't trap that captain, his marshal's too far away. 
I mean, too close, not far away enough. Have the general here, suspecting that's the spy colonel here. That piece moved, although it's got scared by my sergeant, which is kind of funny. I really don't want to move the major because I think that would give away my captain trapping exploits. I don't really want to move it to the right either because then I'd be farther away from the captain. If he was too aggressive with his marshal, I could take advantage of that. I'm at a bit of a loss what to do right now. Of course, down that colonel, I have really perfect info on him except for that last major. I guess I'll go ahead and try to trap this. I think uh, since he gave me that free move, let's see if I play this out here. If I take it, he'll move over. I'm going to need to move up with my general. He'll move over. I'm going to move back with my major. He'll move over, and I'll move back again. And everything's safe, and I just get a free captain. Okay, that's a good catch. Pleased that I was able to do that. His, his issue there was allowing my major to move over in the first place. Courses. General is here. I'm going to scout this, I think, actually. This is the piece I thought could be spy. I would like to check that possibility. This is probably a garbage piece that I think was just hanging around here, maybe trying to get info. Maybe his last scout, uh, but was basically protecting the general from what I gathered. Hmm, Lieutenant, so it's not his last spy, which is a bit unfortunate. Or, his last spy, it's not his scout. Or, it's not his spy, I mean. But it was also not my last scout, which is what I intended to say. So that's not bad. I suppose this could be the spy. Alright, so it's probably my new leading candidate. Okay. So I have Colonel, Lieutenant, General, I suppose a spy could be here, really, because this General spawned right here. Um, no, I don't think that's moved. Of course, we got his um, Lieutenant that I just discovered here. I do think this is probably the scout. Okay, so I know his lieutenant is here, that piece is the trash one that was guarding his general, I assume it's trash at least.
not quite sure what to do at the moment. I feel like we're in a bit of a stalemate situation. I'm not able to progress it. Not myself, at least. I don't want to lose too much buffer time, so I might as well just shuffle a little bit while I think about what I can do. I'd like to trade. Perfect. That's good. Trading is my friend right now, so that's good progress. I'm happy with that. If you let me trade. He doesn't know this captain, but... I might as well try uh, to pretend this is my spy and release my general. He knows the sergeant. I don't think he scouted it. Okay, that's good. So, made or marshal here. I think I'm willing to give him a sergeant if he really wants to call that bluff.
Okay, well, he's going to waste his last scout on my ball, which I'm quite content with. That also reveals an important part of his setup. It doesn't mean he doesn't have a closed flag anywhere here, although I guess I... Well, yeah, that hit and move. This is move, though. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Of course, this colonel is here. Major. Okay. I guess that's not the worst info. That would have been a perfect timing if it was my marshal, though. Okay, nice take. He has really no info on me. I mean, I guess he knows my major. He doesn't know the captain, I don't think. But he has no... Scouts, it means I can get a little bit more, uh, creative. So, General, Colonel, I don't know this piece. Oh no, it's Major. I'd like to trade these majors off. Okay, perfect. So I've got these two marshals here. Of course, he doesn't know my marshal.
Hmm. Quite hard to uh, progress the game here, I feel like. Okay, I guess that's worth it. That's an interesting move, I must say. gonna I actually like that better to be honest because I have such a advantage in the uh, smaller pieces okay Good to note um, that bomb, I think. So I know one bomb, I really feel like this has to be the spy. I don't, I can't really fathom it being anywhere else. Uh, if I can take a spy, of course, it's very valuable. Okay, hey, that's, that's a good development. So I think the next thing I want to do is come up with my captain. I'm going to hit this spy. I think it has to be the spy. Because I moved my marshal shamelessly next to these two pieces. And I can't envision a back row spy. It has to be here where the general spawned. It's the only logical spot, I would have to think. Yeah, okay. That's good.
Alright, so I'm definitely going to want to trap this piece with my captain, I think. Okay, very good. I'm going to come up with this miner now. It looks like I'll be able to pass with my miner. This is really quite an intense game here. Actually, it doesn't look like I'll be able to pass with the miner. Because that sergeant was in the way of my marshal. having to do some work to bring up a miner. However, I feel like his sergeant should be behind this bomb over here so that uh, bringing up a miner some more lucrative business if I attempt it on his strong side over here. Let's see what he does here. Okay. It's giving me a little bit of clearance. So 
So they, see, that move is interesting, because he didn't want to keep me trapped on this column. So I guess I'll have to find out what awaits me here. Okay. That makes sense. Now I'm debating using a sergeant here just to rule out the possibility of this being a good piece. I think I will. Okay, it's a bomb. So these two are bombs here. Which is good to know. I'm going to scout this. Another bomb. Now he can't take this piece, otherwise I get one of his pieces. So he's allowed me passage. So I'm trying to... I know these are two bombs. He's got three bombs left. I'm almost certain this has to be a bomb. This has to be a bomb. So then what are the other pieces that's going on in here. I'm a bit confused, I think. Okay. Um... So I'll come through with my miner. Okay, looks like he's getting desperate here. So I think I've got this wind locked up. All right, that works. I'll go ahead and take that out. I was going to get my captain in position here, um, but that's not necessary anymore, of course. Alright, so, um, good win. Uh, he's obviously surrendered. That was kind of, that banner didn't show up for long because I was typing in the chat. Uh, but, very good win. Uh, this is actually my first win against him in a while. A bit of a tricky endgame having to maneuver my advantage in uh, smaller pieces to get his flag. Uh, but, pretty happy with that ending overall. Um, pretty, I was pretty methodical. I don't feel like I made many attacks, and I was able to use the uh, information advantage that I gained uh, in order to be able to um, actually get the win at the end, which is good, because um, oftentimes against upper-level players like Eagle, I'll struggle against that. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.